I'm back, finally. Oh my God. <laughs> um, hi. Yeah, so we're here on my island. I guess I should just stand here because I'm going to give you a tour today. Uh, if you haven't already noticed, I think that the title will probably be that. I'm just back to my old awkward ways. It's fine. I missed you guys so much. If you don't already know, one of the weirdest things yet happened to me. I haven't had this happen yet. I've had a lot of things happen, but I've never had um, my computer and like entire bag stolen <laughs> before out of my car <laughs> that was a new one so yeah i had my computer stolen along with like my hard drive with like all of my latest videos that sucks a lot thankfully i didn't have like my actual wallet or anything in there because i carry that in my fanny pack <laughs> but they just they probably got like a bunch of like random i don't even know i honestly this is the funniest part i don't even remember what was in my bag i don't remember because like my makeup was thankfully on the ground <laughs> on the floor and I think they just swiped it really quick and I do not remember nor do I miss whatever was in my bag which was like it was like a full backpack and it must have just been a bunch of pointless ADD shit I don't even know it's probably got a bunch of Animal Crossing stickers maybe a pair of socks chapstick like they got some random shit so good for them but they also got my computer <laughs> and my hard drive and oh and my headphones my really nice pair of headphones so that sucked that was a huge weird thing that happened and I obviously couldn't <laughs> make videos for a while thankfully uh, um, our renter's insurance actually covered it, which was like, I was like, okay, <laughs> I'll take it. But I do want to just like thank all of you for not only understanding, because I did put it out there like on, a, on most places. I hope most of you were aware that I'm not just like, I didn't just dip, you know, um, but thank you so much for all of your support. You guys were so sweet to me. Like, you know, when that kind of thing happens, you just, I don't know, I felt like my life was over. I was like, that's my whole livelihood that somebody just fucking took. I felt really violated and I was just so devastated that like I, I had worked on like all these videos. Like the next story of Seasons video was like ready to go. I had done a whole fan mail unboxing that I can never get back. <laughs> now I get to do like a unboxed fan mail. Like I have already unboxed it, but here it is, which I am going to do because I got some badass shit. Y'all are amazing. But for everybody who offered to like, you know, raise money to help me get a new computer and stuff. I just, I, I, that does not go unnoticed because obviously I didn't want to go that route if I knew that my insurance was just going to cover it because they better, I pay them, you know, they owe me money at this point. So I didn't want y'all to have to do that if you didn't have to, but I didn't know if they were going to cover it. So it was just really nice knowing that y'all were there for me and would be there for me in this time. Like, I just can't. I'm going to cry if I go <laughs> too much into it. It's been a really weird past couple weeks, especially without you, <laughs> without this in my life. Like I've just felt so empty, honestly. I hated every second of it. You know, um, it wasn't really like a break. I just hated it. I felt so sad. I did get to work on my island a little more because this fully took me months, like fully. I just, I can't wait to show it to you. It's so different, but it's yet, yeah, it's still Molokai. You know, it's not too different, but it is, but it's not. But there's a lot of things that I'm so proud of. I'm just talking and talking and standing here. Most of you probably have tuned out by now, <laughs> but if you haven't, thank you for sticking around. I'm gonna just get right into it, but I can't thank you enough for sticking around and waiting and not being mad at me for not making videos and for being there for me. I'm going to stop talking before I start bawling my eyes out. So today we've got an island tour because I have ripped the entire place apart and <laughs> I need to show you what I've done. So we're here at the beginning at the uh, at the at the airport. Almost forgot what that was called. And also, of course, we have to check in with everybody because, oh, my God, y'all have missed not that much. Honestly, you haven't missed that much. I've been really busy, but there's been some instances of things which I will get you up to date with. So yeah, we got our little welcome thing. All of the codes for all the custom stuff will be in the description, by the way. So yeah, I have that. But yeah, I got this little like welcome because like, you know, you're coming in. Yeah, obviously. I mean, you don't have to explain a welcome sign, God. Then we've got like a little, I guess this is like a bus stop, you know, but it's not because it's not the bus. It's the airport. But maybe the bus brings you to the airport. You know, I've taken a bus to an airport before. I don't really know. It's like a little travel station. You know, you got a bike here. Somebody rode their bike. You can, can sit for your and wait for your flight, even though there's seating inside. Don't read too much into it. Anyway, we got a little bubbler there I, or water fountain. They call them bubblers in Massachusetts, which I need to stop doing because they don't call them that everywhere. So I did move Lily's house. Y'all saw that. Um, and then we have like this little look at this, like this little fucking bougie ass, uh, like. <laughs> I don't know, fountain. Yeah, and then we've got Zell's house here, Kyle's house here. He's still got kind of like the same old, same old. There's Anka fishing, like a baddie, like a cool, quirky main character bitch. That's fine. Oh, 
And so then down here, you know, we still get the T-Rex, we get the museum, but we've got a plesiosaur on the shore because I didn't know what to put here. And remember how it was a butterfly garden, but like we already have a butterfly garden? I made it into a dinosaur garden instead. I don't know what to do with this, by the way. This is like... I, I'm going to go into the dinosaur garden, I swear. But right now, I do need to explain this. This is where my free shit is right now for, like, the people who come to visit my island for all these, like, little things. But I kind of don't like it there, but it's there. Just whatever. Yeah. So that's, like, the only thing I'm kind of, like, eh about. Especially because this is so beautiful, but then, ugh. But, yeah. So this is the dinosaur garden, right? Ugh. Let's just try to get this out of frame. There we go. Look at the dinosaur garden, right? She didn't. Yes, she did. Yeah, this is the dinosaur garden. This is like the prehistoric garden because like, you know, butterfly garden and eh. dinosaur garden. Yeah. Look at this shit. So this is the dino garden. Just a few like specimens out here. Dimetrodon, even though he's not a dinosaur, I get that. Neither is Acanthostega or Helicoprion. I know that. Anyway, yeah, most of these things aren't dinosaurs, actually. This right here is a marine invertebrate. Certainly Pachycephalosaurus was a dinosaur, but yeah, most of them aren't. This guy is obviously a dinosaur, Triceratops. Um, anyway, yeah, dinosaur garden, pretty fucking cool, right? I'm really happy with it, and it doesn't lag as much as my butterfly garden did, because like I got to a point, my patrons, they visited pretty recently, and I had it more butterfly garden than dinosaur garden at that time, and it was very laggy. Um, but there are some places that are kind of laggy and I've never I've never dealt with that before the lagginess when you put too much shit in one place I've never dealt with that before because I didn't give a shit before and my island was trash and so I just never knew that that was a thing but it is watch this so we still got Anka's little place here but I did kind of I reduced it just a tiny bit you can't even really tell though like look at it it's still basically the same this is where it starts to get kind of laggy and then up here up these stairs look at this right up these stairs you can see that something fun is going on up there right? Uh, happy Pride Month, by the way. It is Pride Month. <laughs> so big deal, obviously. Huge deal, in fact. This is going to be like my, uh, see a little laggy. This is going to be my like seasonal area, right? So I'll do something extra seasonal here. And for Pride Month, I mean, come on, you know, this is obviously just pride happening. There's the gay agenda, the, the float that I got from, <laughs> from Pave. D'Artagnan and his boyfriend Camden are on a date. And they're uh, gay, so they're allowed to be here. We've got the gay teacups over here. And, and just, yeah, Pride Month. Because <laughs> apparently we're not having a big gay wedding this year. I just, ugh. Those two heteronormative llamas, a pink one and a blue one. Come on, Nintendo. I don't fucking trust anything they do anymore. Once I get CJ and Flick Amiibos, it's over, okay? Then we've got like this little like... <laughs> you know, <laughs> a little beach, like, what is this even called? Like a little tiki bar, I guess. Look at this. Isn't it fun? It's kind of like got the little pink accents to it. I kind of really love it a lot. Yeah. It's like a little place to get drunk on the beach. Look at this. I don't even really know what's going on here. It's like a little place where you can be at the jacuzzi and like look out on the ocean, even though I have these here that kind of block the view of the ocean but they're cute though right don't ask whatever yeah so we got that little moment up there i am really doing stuff with my island as you can see and i would say that it only gets better from from here so yeah we've got all of that let's see what's going on over here you know let's see so this is kind of still the same but then you know we've got like a little hammock situation over here little moccasins a bowl of grapes so I can sit there and eat grapes like I'm important. We've got this little area here with my little DIY bench and my bike. And then look at this. I will admit to you, this was my idea, y'all. I just fucking came up with this. A lot of stuff I see on Pinterest and stuff, not this. I will say, like, obviously the background, I didn't make that. But, like, the benches and stuff. And, yeah, so I think it's really cute. I'll show you the inside of my house after. How about... But yeah, we've got this little area here, like a little um, reading place, which I have in the town square as well, but it's fine. You can never have too many little blankets where you read, right? I'm like reading a magazine about Mothman, listening to music. Um, then we've got like my, my little farm over here. Like I'm growing, um, I almost said potatoes. Those are not potatoes. I've got little pumpkins going. Um, it's just really cute little farm little it's not a farm why do I keep saying farm little garden I guess yeah it's like a little vegetable garden right how cute is that normally the other one has apples too god damn it Amanda you should have waited for a day where they both had apples dumb bitch 
much. Anyway, um, oh my god, look at Lily. She's sitting there in a bow and a dress. Hello? Lily, I could die. She's just sitting by the edge of the water, like thinking. Whatever, Lily. Look at her. She looks so cute in that bow. <laughs> Who do you think you are? So much to see, even when you're just out for a walk, Cricket. Ain't that the truth? Lay it on me. Tell me, what do you think of my pin tug pleated dress? I was just talking about it. You look marvelous. I don't have any plans or anything. <laughs> I guess I just felt like dressing up in something fancy, Cricket. Yeah, because your crush lives on this island, Diana. And believe me, these two. Oh my God. Oh my God. They don't stop. And Goose, get out of here. Anyway, they're so cute. Lily and Diana, like they're acting all coy. They're still putting each other through this weird, I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing it. And it's beautiful and frustrating. Look at you cleaning. Where's your ring? Oh, there it is. I don't know where you got this. What are you, a fan of Mario? You quirky as a bitch. Look at you. <laughs> oh my God, you look so cute today. Bestie, make yourself at home, Kay. Look at you. I'm kind of low-key picky about my chairs. Mainly, they've got to look cute. The trendier, the better. And if they're comfy, that's totes a bonus. Wow. She's like, they got to be cute. If they're super fucking uncomfortable and I'm crying every day that I'm sitting in it, I'm fine with that. I love that she's got the bitch shades on, on display too. That's beautiful. Very nice, Pom. Anyway, yeah, Pom Pom's little area over here. How cute, right? Oh my God. I bet you already saw this. Look at that. Look at how cute. They really are like in love and about to get married. That's why they both have the little thing on their doors. And now that I have a new computer, I will be planning very soon a date for the wedding. As far as like my patrons go, we're going to try to do like a whole weekend. <laughs> so it can be tough for me to be available for a whole weekend, um, but I'm, I want to do that so everybody who wants to come, who is on a tier that can come to the island will get a chance to come. Um, but also I'm obviously gonna do a video about it, like the ceremony itself at Harv's Island. Diana, can you believe her? Ugh, I can't, I certainly can't, especially because I gave you something to wear today and you fucking changed out of it. It's fine. She's her own person, clearly. Oh my God, look at Pierce's area, right? He's got like the little workout thing. He's got a picture of Pom Pom, pretty beautiful sight to see, isn't it? We've got Pierce fully looking at a wall. There he goes. Hi, Pierce. How you doing? You look like the jock from the horror movie that we talked about that gets killed first along with Pom Pom. Hey, you liking my throwback hat table? Not really, Pierce. But you know what? Since you're such a himbo, it's perfect for you. <laughs> He's such a himbo. If I'm not working out, sometimes I'll sit there and read. It uh doesn't get used much, punk. Yeah, because you can't read. It's okay. It's okay that you can't read. You're not supposed to be able to read. If you could read, you wouldn't be a himbo. So yeah, that's Pom Pom and Pierce's area. They all, they got their little bikes too. And I know it's kind of like, I was just complaining about Reese and Cyrus being pink blue, but Pom Pom and Pierce actually are so pink blue, you know, and so are Reese. But when Pom Pom and Pierce do it, it's fine. Okay, that's what I'm going to say. But yeah, he's got like a blue bike and she's got like a pink bike. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, um, there's, you've seen like a little bit of this. Here's like that little area where the whole thing with Lily and Diana happened. Y'all saw that in the last video. But then I have this. Did I have that last time? I think I did, right? This little thing? No, I don't think I had that. Oh my God, right? Another little area. Yeah, here's the town square. We've just got another beautiful fountain situation can't stop doing those it seems and yeah this is like such a cute little town square right i feel like i made it too nice though because now people aren't fighting at least i haven't seen much fighting in this area for whatever reason so uh yeah this is the town square area this is like an extension of the town square i guess you know this is just like the residential like common areas where do we what do we call that hi zal look at you in the white jean jacket amazing god you're looking good he always looks good though okay so then yeah we've got um this bridge you know what i'm going to show you that we've got this bridge right but then we also have which i personally love We've got Lily's house, obviously. And then we've got like, you know, her little froggy areas uh, over here for Lily. So cute. And then we've got, I just love these bridges. Like both these bridges. Something Every time I see them, I'm like, she really did that. Two bridges. <laughs> I don't know. I just love it. Um, so then we've got like a little apiary here. 
a very cute little place for bees to live. Um, then we have just kind of a random like little beach, you know, I've got that cooler. That cooler's always been there. I don't really know what to do with it. I don't even want to touch it. Honestly, I feel like it smells. Then we've got, look at this. I don't even know what this is. It's like a little area because I found out I haven't tried it yet. Actually, this might not be close enough, but I found out that you could jump off this, I think, or maybe not. Maybe I should try it, right? Ugh, but if I change out of this, wait, I gotta, now I gotta move this. I can't be doing this right now, but I, yet I am. Yet I am. <laughs> Look at this. Does this work? I don't even know if this works. It doesn't even work. Oh, it does work. Yes. Wow. How fun. How fun. Yeah, so she really did that. <laughs> I just want to remind you. Yeah, so it does work. Thank God. That would have been stupid if it didn't work. Oh, I do. Oh, yes. Okay, so put this. Oh, you got to change first, you dumb bitch. Beautiful. Put that there. That's exactly why I keep that there. But I do have to move this clothes closet, which sucks, but it's fine. But look at this, right? It's like a little place where you go and you jump into the water. I saw like some, I saw stuff like this on Pinterest, but then I made it kind of like a little station. Like, look, I love this. It's a little shower and you go under it. You know how like when you were in the like all and you get all sandy and stuff and then you go into the shower. Oh my God, right? I love it. It's so cute. And then there's like all the surfboards over here, little lamp, all that shit. So that's that. Then we go down here, get a little fishing area, a little fishing dock. Pretty cute. This, I don't really even know what to tell you it is. It's just like a little area. Okay. <laughs> it's got some tissues just in case, you know, you need to fucking cry outside <laughs> in front of everybody. I don't really know what this is supposed to be. It's like a little space filler, you know? I just thought it would be cute. I kind of like this particular setup. I think I made it up, but I got like ideas from those those awesome like Animal Crossing experts on Pinterest that do shit like this little like space fillers. So that's like a little space filler. I would say it's the cry station. I would say that it's the cry station, honestly. <laughs> if you just want to cry outside for all to see. Look at you, Lily. Lily's not trying to cry today. Then I have a DIY station. It's kind of like a little wood working shop, like a little workshop. Like, like they built some blocks. They built a little rocking horse. I just love it over here. There's like a clay station, little fucking tools and shit. I love this area. I think it came out so cute. Then we've got the little campsite, right? So remember I had this like as like a field. It was like a little field and it was just a random field. But now instead of just a random field, not only is it a gorgeous field, it's also a campsite. We'll go over on that side later. Okay, we'll save that for the for, for last <laughs> uh, for a good reason. But anyway, this is like our little area over here. I started to, this is so bad of me, but I started to, like to keep these because I fucking like them. I wanted to use them for things. And so I wouldn't give them back. There's Sherby. Hi, Sherby. What are you wearing today? Oh, we meet again, mommy. He's been calling me mommy lately. It's fine. You know, even with the nacho stains everywhere, I still think I look cute in my mom's hand-knit sweater. I made it for him. I love this outfit. I put it on and look in the mirror and say to myself, you look cute, and I can't stop blushing. Yeah, the M uh, stands for murder goat, obviously. <laughs> and I made it for him again because I am his mother, for better or worse, whether I like it or not. So over here, just real quick, we do have Goose's house. I know that no one cares, but this is where he lives. He's got a basketball court. I didn't give it to him. He bought it with his own money. It's none of my business, honestly. Then look at this pattern. I will definitely have that in the description. But yeah, we've got like, this is where it connects. You remember this bridge, this good old bridge, but it connects like this little area. Sherb still lives here, obviously. You know, I just allowed Sherb to decorate his own backyard and I regret it every day. <laughs> then we've got uh, Diana. Not much has changed here. I put these little things behind like this little trellis. Behind. Isn't that cute? Look at that, right? Let's go back and get out of the way. There we go. How cute, right? And then there's Marina's house. She's got a little paint station by the water, right? So cute. This is kind of still the same. But yeah, down here. So this is Goose's house. Obviously, this is like a way to get up here. 
Um, and I think there's another, I don't really remember what I'm doing, but oh, I want to show you this back here. So <laughs> here's Sherby. He's looking cute today though. Look at his outfits all like coordinated and shit. So that's where the campsite is now. So cute, right? It's like a beautiful, like vibrant, like in-depth campsite. You got a little area over here for the secret beach. Yeah. I really went all out, you guys. I fucking ripped this place apart, right? Where's the orchard? What orchard? What orchard? Yeah. That orchard is gone, baby. So that's like the secret beach. And then this is, yeah, this is kind of like a little campground, right? So we've got like the little picnic area, a little like tent over here. I know she really did that. I'm going to show you the rest of the campsite later, as I said. So yeah, I've got like a little bit more up here. Then you can hop this and this is kind of where you come up from that residential area and you're just running around. Look at this, right? I got like this area up here for whatever fucking reason. Then if you come over the bridge, this is something I'm very proud of. So obviously you can see that sign that I made. It says, come crab a drink. <laughs> and you'll see why in a second, because we have a brand new resident on the island. He lives here. He came to us when we needed him most. Um, this is like a little bar, obviously a little bar, a little sports bar. And then <laughs> look at him. Capo Careful Claws. That's his name. Capo Careful Claws, aka Capo. He is a bartender. He's also a giant Japanese spider crab. He can make anything you want, actually. He is an incredible bartender. He's really so talented. And he just came, he crawled out of the ocean to serve us, looking for honest work, looking to, uh, to, to start a business, to open a restaurant, a bar, in fact. And this is his bar. It's called the Crab Bar because I can't think of any other name for it. So I just, I've been calling it the Crab Bar because it's like a there's a crab running the place. Um, and now I just call it that because, yeah, so this is Crab Bar <laughs> and this is Capo, Capo Careful Claws. And he is the bartender and he's at your service. So that's uh, him and we love him. We come to him. He is our Brewster. You know, we don't need Brewster anymore because we have Capo and we run to him with all our problems. And instead of coffee, he gives us alcohol, <laughs> which we like better. <laughs> Um, and so, yeah, this is the bar. This is Crab Bar. And that's Capo Careful Claws. We love you, Capo. <laughs> and, you know, we got some games over here and shit. Come crab a drink. I just am still laughing over that. Oh, look at the ducks. Got some ducks over there sitting on their babies and stuff. Then we got... You know, still got to have our girl Ursa. Uh, by the way, none of y'all told me about the fucking fake doggoo statue. Hello? And it glows in the dark at night, but it fucking floats. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's my favorite item in Animal Crossing. I, I couldn't believe that. I, I discovered that all on my own. Then we've got this area. This is the landing pad for the aliens. It says, welcome aliens. Please abduct me. <laughs> and then that that thing is awesome because every once in a while an alien comes out. Oh, there he is. Look, please abduct me. Please, please don't leave without me. Please, I hate it here. I want to go with you. Please, please take me. Take me away. Please, I hate it here. Please, no. That's so disappointing. Maybe next time. <laughs> There's Stonehenge just because they say that's like alien related or whatever. I guess we'll go through Ursa's house because this is a whole tour. It's an island tour, you know? Yeah, this, so this is Ursa's house. And for those of you who don't know, oh God, there's a cockroach. That's great. That's so, so professional and not at all embarrassing. Anyway, so I have an alien character. Her name is Ursa and she, you can meet her once I update my dream address. She's a alien baddie. And this is her house. It's like an alien themed house. So this is the living room. Then we've got, obviously it's not like a living room though. It's like outer space. This is, oh God, another cockroach. This is a, uh, what do they call that? The, the place where you drive the ship, you know? What do they call that when you drive a ship? What do they call that? The cockpit? That must be what it's called, right? The cockpit or something or like the captain's chair. I don't really know. The, or the like the front of the ship. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, this is the front of the ship. <laughs> this is where you drive it, where you drive the thing. So yeah, it's like alien themed. I already said that. Oh, another cockroach. I hate killing animals. I hate killing animals. Then we've got, I think this is where the garage is. So yeah, I just wanted to make like another house. You know how sometimes people do that? There's, yeah, this is like the garage. Oh, there's a fucking cockroach like in there and I can't move anything in Ursa's house, I don't think. No, I can't move shit. Oh my God, that's going to drive me so crazy. I got to get out of here. Oh yeah. So this is, <laughs> this is the garage where all the UFOs. Then we've got, oh my God. It's like it's so hard to maneuver. God, not very user-friendly, Amanda. 
But it is cool. It's a cool looking place though. And it was fun. It's fun to just do a whole theme. This, I don't even really know what this is. I just wanted it to be, I don't know. Yeah, there's like suits over there. I don't, I have no explanation, but it's cool. It looks cool. You know, it looks really cool. And then upstairs is like the surface of the moon. Even though the moon is also right there, it's a decoration. Okay, we're not actually on the moon. And then downstairs, probably my favorite room of the house downstairs. The lab. Look at this. This is a science lab. This is an alien experiment. This is where they take you when they abduct you. They take you and do experiments on you here. We've got all these like eggs. Like so let's just pretend these are all like eggs like incubating. You know what I mean? Because aliens do shit like that, I guess. All these water tanks like they're trying to make Mewtwo or some shit. They've got like a sink. You know, every science lab's got a sink, got test tubes and shit. Love it. Love it. So that's Ursa's house. That's the alien house. And yeah, it's just up here. I love aliens. Uh, I really want to uh, meet them. I want them to scare the shit out of us and come to Earth. But I think they'll be nice. <gasps> there he is. Please take me. Please take me with you. Please, please. I don't want to beg too much. I don't want to force myself on the ship. I just really, really want to come with you. Please don't leave without me. Please don't do this. Please. Ah, oh, damn it. Maybe next time. A uh, little sitting area over here. So yeah, that is pretty awesome, right? Can you believe I did this? I don't know. It's not like that great, but I mean, for me, like for me, y'all know me, right? <laughs> We've seen pretty much everything uh, except for, have wow, already? Oh, I have something down here. It's, it's small, you know, but something. So this is just another, I don't know, just a beach, just a little place to lounge, you know, just a little place to lounge. You can lounge, you can drink your coconut juice. Ooh, Oh, did I see Kyle? It's almost as if I know every DIY, but I don't think I do. Oh, look at Kyle sitting all by himself. Kyle, hi, baby. Look at us. Oh, my God, right? Oh, yeah, we're doing great. It's nice to see him. Uh <laughs> That was embarrassing. I'm like, yeah, we're doing great. He gets up and walks away without a fucking word. Ah, uh, hi. Hey. We just keep running into each other, don't we? What are you, like, sick of me or something? You always make a wish when you see a falling star, right? Because I sure do. And I'll tell you what I wish for. I always wish for all the flowers on Molokai to bloom once in perfect unison. What? You expect me to say something like I wish I had a gold-plated photo album? Well, I wish for that too, okay? Aw, oh, you're so cute. Is there like a star thing tonight? Why did he say that? There must be a shooting star thing. Why can't I think of what it's called? A meteor shower? Something like that? I don't know, but he's so cute. He looks so handsome in that shirt. I just love him. Sorry. All right, you got my attention. What's up, Buttercup? I just want to chat. Is that okay that I want to talk to my boyfriend? Hey, do you know what's up with Ursa lately? Why are you so concerned about Ursa? Maybe she went back to space. Did you ever think of that? Because she's an alien, maybe she went back to space because earth fucking sucks and we don't have our shit together here do you ever think of that <laughs> i don't know kyle i just don't even think you guys are that close oh my god lily just standing there what do you got a date or something you waiting for something what are you doing nice to see you again cricket let's talk the design you're wearing is fantastic not sure i've seen the designer's work before it's because she's by let's see what's at nook's cranny while we're here but i still have one more area to show you yeah just shit does anybody else's nook's cranny have nothing but shit like, I have to go and get my shit online because y'all can't provide shit. You put the same stuff that you had last week in the shop every week. Like, what is that? Isn't that weird that we only have, like, a small amount of things? It feels like we don't get everything, all of us. We have to that we have to trade. Is that what it's meant? They, they, they make it like that so that they force us to trade? What if we don't have any friends, Nintendo? <laughs> what then? Thank God for Nook is on, you know? But they, I think they want us to trade. So anyway, you got this thing, little campsite, goose, go home. Home. Nobody wants to see you. Got this little area. It's like a little fire pit, you know, because you're camping, right? You're camping. Whoops, scared a bug. It's fine. Camping, camping, camping. Lots of tents. I love this. I saw this on Pinterest. I made it kind of my own. But like how cute, right? Like you're doing your laundry. I would not recommend using like ocean water to wash your laundry. That's not what we're doing here. We're getting it from this over here. This is fresh water. But like we just want to see the beach while we do our laundry. So that's the laundry area. How cute, right? Yeah, that's a Pinterest thing for sure. So then we go up the stairs. Got more campsite area, you know, and it's just all kind of the same, same old, same old. It goes into that's where like the little campground picnic area is. A lot of this is just so natural. I just love it. It just reminds me of camping because that's what you're doing, camping. I don't know what I was trying to say. So yeah, then we've got basically just the end of the trail. 
bye bye. <laughs> End of the trail. There is nothing down here. I didn't put these signs here. I think sure might have, but it's fine. So end of the trail, nothing down here. Pinky promise. And that's basically the end of the tour, honestly. Nothing else really um, to see on the island, honestly. There's like a little area <laughs> over here with some more natural uh, things. Nothing at all else that I can think of to show you. Um, yeah, nothing really back here. It's just boring. You know, it's the end of the trail. There's nothing back here uh, whatsoever. <laughs> Pinky promise. If you're out catching bugs in like a tight, short velvet dress and a choker, are you serious? Are you serious? Why, Tulip? You simply must let me tell you about this new reality show I've been watching. There are three contestants. They've been dropped off on an island and they must do their best to survive. But all they have with them is a toaster oven, a pocket watch, and an encyclopedia. I tell you, I cannot stop watching it. Still, why anyone would sign up to be on this show is beyond me. Oh, Diana, I love you, bitch. She's so relatable. She's like better than you and yet relatable. So she makes you think like, like you have potential to someday be like as cool as her, D even though deep down, you know, you never will be. Look at Zell. He does, he sweeps once and then he's like, oh, that's enough for me today. Yeah, Zell, I'm sure it is. Anyway, here's my house and I'm very proud of the inside for the most, yeah, I'm proud. I, I kind of popped off. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, got the living room. You've already seen that. This is, you know, same old, same old. And I guess I'll show you the basement first because you may have noticed that I didn't have any place for music to happen. You know how I always have like a little stage? Like at one point I had a whole big like music festival area, took that away. So like, I love music. So like, where is the music happening? Well, I kind of decided, I just couldn't find anywhere where I felt natural where the music place could go, at least for right now outside. So I was thinking about it and you know how like sometimes like, have you ever been to a show where it's like in a, I wouldn't say, it's like in a basement. It kind of feels like it's in a basement and it's like really dark and it's like, those are the best shows, you know, where it's like dark and in a basement. Look at this. This is where the shows are. Yeah, you got to get like a secret like invite, you know, and it's like a little like, you know, can't you see like a show happening and like everybody's standing up and like, that's what this is. So this is my basement because I never knew what to do with it. It's like a little concert venue. Isn't that so cool? I think it came out great. It's just very simple, but it gives you like the vibes of like, there's like a concert happening. Not right now, because there's literally no one down here except for me, but you can just envision it, right? Like everybody jumping around and stuff <laughs> and like a concert. So then there's my bathroom. Oh my God, it's so cute. Just wait, you're gonna die. Look at my bathroom. Uh, she really did that. So I got like a little changing area. Look at the bath area, right? Like she's really treating herself. She's so sick and tired of everybody's shit and she's treating herself a little laundry area i love these panels and this design the code will definitely be down there for you little toilet area because obviously that's what a bathroom is for i know i know uh, look at this i know i know look at this yep she really did that i'm still gonna change in the fridge though I'm pretty sure my kitchen is exactly the same but we'll make sure We'll make sure, but I'm pretty sure because remember the kitchen was really the only thing I was ever happy with. So I didn't want to touch that shit. Yeah. Yep. Still my same old kitchen. I don't know if I like these mats actually. Like I do, but I don't. I might take this one out actually. You know what? I'm going to just do that right now because I'm a mess. I'm not ready for this. I wasn't prepared. What's new? I think I like that better. It just seemed a little much. I like it under there a lot, but I like this runner better. I don't know. Now I'm not happy with it, but I am, but I'm not. But I feel like these areas are like so like empty. I don't know, but I like it. Yeah, this is my kitchen. I love my kitchen. I've always loved my kitchen. It's fine. Shout out to the fridge. We've got my bedroom. You guys are not ready. It's very cute. It's very cute. Very much just like what I was always kind of going for. Look at this. Uh, like I took so long on this shit. Look, I've got a pet frog over here. His name is Landon. And then I've got a trash can, little star string lights. And like, where is my bed? Oh my God, it's almost as if I don't have a bed. Except for I do. I just didn't realize that was a bed for the longest time, which is why I thought Pom Pom didn't have a bed, but she does. And so do I. And then there's my laptop and my little chair, like a little ideas and stuff that I threw on the ground. Is that a picture of Reese? What is that actually on that picture? Oh, it's a fish and it's so cute. Oh, and then I've got like a sock, a little, little diary. 
um, little shoe mat. I know, I know I love it. A little encyclopedia and coffee. Yeah, I really love it a lot. I think it came out really cute. Really, really cute. Um, right now, I don't have any place that I'm putting my posters, actually. Uh, I don't know if I will or if I need to make another house where it's just, I don't know. I don't know. Well, t one step at a time. Like, remember how I had all the posters on the walls and stuff? I don't have that anymore, but I still have all my posters because I love them. Then this, look at this. This is like my office, like area, kind of like library, right? And the reason I have the DJ turntable is just because like it's basically my radio and then I have like my little album collection over there, my little vinyl collection, right? Oh, you know what? I forgot to put up my new plaque, actually. So <laughs> I'm going to do that in front of you, too, because I am a mess. It's fine because I got this plaque, too. So I want to put that up, too. So now I got to do this. I wanted to put I have like two of the golden like trophies from the like fish off and the bug off or whatever. But I don't know where to put them right now. But yeah, look at this. Like I got all my plants. I got my little area where I sit and like do stuff like write and like toil away at my life's work I've got my like friggin library uh the book is backwards <laughs> oh, let's just fix that real quick I know I love this room this might be my favorite room in the place I know it just came together for me it really did just come together for me and I love it because I wanted a place where oh look at my degree up on the wall isn't that a degree is that what that is like let's see hold on is, is that like, a, yeah, that's like a, that's like a diploma. I love that. So she's like an educated baddie. So she's educated. Okay. So step aside. <laughs> but I just, I wanted a place like where I could have a lot of plants and books and stuff. And that, that really came together for your girl. It really did. I love it. Oh my God. Is that everything? Is that everything already? I feel like I flew through that, but it's fine. It's a good first video why didn't anybody get in a fight though i wanted more drama i thought you guys would deliver it's been so long come on do i have to kick one of y'all out like everybody's getting along what is that come on i'm just gonna like look for trouble real quick come on zell's sweeping what is wrong with you people <laughs> why aren't we fighting what the hell pom pom and pierce are both in the house planning the wedding so Pom Pom's not here to fuck shit up. What the hell? Nobody's mad at each other? Come on. What's Marina doing? Marina's always down for a mess. I don't know what she's been up to lately, honestly. I've kind of been avoiding her, not gonna lie. As much as you know I love Marina. I don't think she's going anywhere. Marina's over here like building shit. I think I already got this from you. Welcome back. Yeah, I got, I got this from you. Look at you in that dress. It's lovely to have a goal, don't you think? I'm hoping to run faster, so I've been asking around for advice. <laughs> what? One idea was to load up the finish line with cotton candy. See, this is what Goose has turned her into. This is literally what Goose has turned her into. This is like some weird, what is going on? It's a nice thought, but I don't think it would work as well for me as it does for Zell. What are you talking about Zell? I'm not sure if it would be so fun to eat after running either. What is she talking about Zell? What, now you're talking to Zell too? <laughs> okay, because I think Zell, Zell is definitely like Pan. He's like the panest man I've ever met. So that's a possibility, but I don't know. The whole running thing makes me think Goose because she has been hanging out with Goose a little bit lately, which I don't really know why I moved Goose closer <laughs> to her. I guess I just wanted him further away from me. You can't blame a bitch for wanting to do that. Where is Goose? Where even is Goose? God, where is he? Oh, he's in the garden area. Cherb, can't you just take care of him? Where is Goose? Ew. What is he doing? Oh my God, look at Diane. Oh my God, see? You see this shit? Trying to be subtle. You know how when you go for a walk and you know your crush is out and you're just going to walk by real quick, looking amazing, looking incredible. You're just going to walk by real quick. You're going to walk by real quick, looking your absolute fucking best, looking better than you ever looked. Look at that face. She says, I'm making a... <gasps> she... Ow, ow. Ow. What is this? Very subtle, girls. Lily looked the whole fucking time. She looked the entire time. She never once averted her eyes. Yeah, that just happened. Can't plan it. You can't make this shit happen. It just happens. And it, <laughs> and boy, is it beautiful. And boy, is it beautiful. Where are you going? She put that shit on. The bow, the dress. She put it on. 
so that she could hit and run Diana, so that she could walk past Diana. We've all done it. We have all done it. We've all looked fucking smoking. We've taken two hours on a look so that we could walk past our crush for 0.2 seconds. If you say you haven't, you're lying, okay? (laughs) So Lily just did that relatable queen moment. We love to see it. Where did she? Now she's sitting alone. She's sitting alone thinking, ruminating, because you know what? She's sitting there because she's doing the thing. We all know the thing. She's doing the thing. She's sitting in a common area. She knows she looks good, okay? She knows she looks better than good, better than ever. So she is sitting in a common area waiting for Diana to walk past because she knows Diana's going to have to come this way. Diana's probably going to have to go this way once she's done fishing for whatever fucking reason. See? See? (laughs) Plants her ass down in a bush. Diana, really? In a bush. It's fine. (laughs) Goose. What are you doing? Look at the chicken feet, the familiar scratch of chicken feet. Yikes. Yeah, that's goose. Who cares though, right? Where's Sherby? Oh, I can't. I really love him now. He is for sure a serial killer. He's a murderer. He's absolutely out of control. He is very violent, but he's my son and I love him and I will stand by him and I just love him. I can't believe it. Can you guys believe how far we've come? Hi, Sherby. You remember to be nice to everybody. God, it was so hard. Oh my God, I got to share some pictures from when the patrons came to visit. Holy shit. Thank you to everybody who sent me photographic evidence. I am working on it. I'm sorry that Sherb scared you. We had a talk, but sometimes he just gets in that. I don't know. Yeah. What, what's up, Sherby? You okay? What are you doing? Are you feeling stabby? Can I check your pockets for sharp objects, please? <laughs> He's crazy. But anyway, yeah, he really uh, scared people that day. And I really didn't expect that because my patrons have come to visit before many times and he hasn't ever gone this hard. He's he's always scares people. He always, always scares people. You kind of can't avoid it. (laughs) But this time, I think it was a little, little worse than ever before. It really, really was pretty, pretty alarming to say the least. Shout out to Spooky. Spooky Crossing on Instagram. You should definitely follow her. She is amazing. We love you so much. Uh, she really documented her encounter with Sherb very well, and I am so thankful for that. Sherb said, I thought maybe you were a spy or something, but what would you be spying on? I didn't know. <laughs> that is so guilty that is so like that's like but what i didn't do anything why would you be spying on who would you be spying on what would you be spying on right (laughs) yeah i thought you were a spy but like why would i think that it's not like i committed any crimes i always do one last fun thing every night before bedtime maybe tonight can you believe he said that (laughs) just maybe tonight dot 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 I think Animal Crossing is following my Sherb thing and they're and they're like leaning into it. What else would explain this? He said, I always do one last fun thing every night before bedtime. Maybe tonight, dot, dot, dot. I can't believe it. I really can't. I just had to read it again. And then he said, oh my God, did you know that you can stay on this island forever? It's true, forever. I can't believe he said this to her. I can't believe it. And he said that to other people too. There was multiple people were reporting that he was saying, there's a way that you can stay on this island forever. I can show you if you follow me. He basically, and I will just be completely honest with you. I'm not going to try to dress this up as anything other than what it is. He means uh, he's going to bury you in his um, grave yard collection of bodies. He has a place where he buries the bodies and that is obviously, very obviously, a way that um, he makes it so you can stay here forever. And that is uh, obviously not great. Okay, what's going on here? And that's why breakfast is better for dinner than it is for breakfast. Oh, Sal, here he goes. He's going off in his own thing. But isn't breakfast still breakfast no matter what you're eating? And same for dinner. Yes, Lily, you're right. He's wrong. You could have creamed spinach in the morning and that still counts as your breakfast. Just like if you had pancakes for dinner. It's still dinner. That is so true, Lily. You're on a roll. No, no, no. It doesn't work like that. Pancakes are always breakfast, no matter what time you eat them. Especially when you eat them for dinner. Wait, now I'm confused. Yeah, Zell, don't break your fucking brain, buddy. Yeah, Zell's, he's, I wouldn't, I don't know if he's a himbo because 
He's he's like a pretty. I guess he is kind of a. Is he a himbo? Is Zell a himbo? Comment down below. I really honestly need help. I need the help of my himbos squad from my Patreon. We're all like a, we have we have our degrees in himbology. We're constantly like, is the magic school bus a himbo? Have we even decided yet if he is? My favorite one. I will never be over this. Uh, we decided that the Moai statues from Easter Island are in fact himbos. They are himbos. Look at them. <laughs> That's what we do on our Patreon uh, Discord. Really, really a very productive place. Uh, and it's my favorite place. And I mean that. There's Anka. Oh my God. You can just see her shadow with the gorgeous like snake thing on her head. Oh my God. She's amazing. And you don't even see her the whole time. She's just over there. Anyway, is Zella Himbo? I think he might be because he just, all he cares about is looking pretty. And that's about it. <laughs> and he just walks around spouting off his opinions, even though they are wrong because he is not smart <laughs> i don't know is zella himbo i'm start. i'm going through something right now this is weird it's okay zell try not to worry your pretty little head about it too much lily said zell is a himbo lily said zell is a himbo look at anka coming over with the with the orange soda we love you anka yeah you guys saw that too i love you anka i love you so much anka sometimes i, I don't know sometimes my heart reaches for her i won't lie Ah, yes, we meet again, bestie. I like to select the perfume I wear based on the weather. For example, today I smell like pear, bestie. You smell amazing, Anka. Though I think the smell might be attracting bugs. They've been bugging me all day. Aw, Anka and the puns? She knows I love puns, Anka. Bitch, she knows exactly what she's doing. Ugh, she drives me. You drive me crazy. I just can't sleep. I'm so excited. I'm in too deep. Oh, crazy. But it feels so right. Baby, thinking of you keeps me up all night. Let's not sing this out loud where Kyle can hear. It's not a thing, okay? It's not. I, I will always have a place in my heart for Miss Anka, but me and Kyle are doing great. And I love him. Where is he, by the way? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? It's fine. Whatever. We'll find him. But in the meantime, I did want to see where Diana is because I feel like Lily's waiting. Lily has laid the trap. <laughs> Look at her just walking around in the bow and the dress. And she makes me sick in the best way possible. Where is Diana? <laughs> Diana is talking to oh, Diana. Ugh, goose, leave her alone. That's what's keeping you. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was just saying I needed a fight. I am so mad at you. Oh, dear. I mean, I am so mad at you. Yeah. Is that better, darling? What are they doing? Is that this isn't a fight? Ew. What is this? Look, Diana, I'm going to need you to dig deeper. I'm just not feeling your rage. Diana, give it to him. Unload, bitch. Make him feel it. <laughs> what is it I'm raging about again? For the life of me, I just can't remember. Oh, Tulip, you must help me. Goose has roped me into one of his newfangled exercise regimens. Ugh, Goose. That's right. I'm teaching her this new workout called Rage Aerobics. It's all the rage, huh? Get it? Goose, get out of my sight. Anyway, it's supposed to be good for your lungs and your abs. You can really work up a sweat by yelling. <laughs> okay, Goose, I can fucking certainly show you how to do that. <laughs> Okay, Diana, break time's over. I'm going to need you to take a deep breath and yell like you mean it. Diana, make him piss himself. Please, I'm begging you. Goose, darling, I just don't think I have it in me. Ugh. Someone with my sunny disposition and even temperament doesn't need rage aerobics. Hey, Diana, I totally forgot to tell you. You just missed the biggest shoe sale of the year. What? I, I missed it? This can't be happening. Someone is going to pay for this. I am so angry. Goose, this is so grotesque. I don't even know what I'm watching right now. Diana, strangle him. What are you doing? Put your hands on him. Take his picnic basket and fucking dump it out. Diana, you had your net out and you didn't use it? So disappointed in you. Goose, I'm filing a restraining order, okay? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I don't even want to see your face. Okay, we need to start coming out of our houses at different times in shifts so I don't have to walk past you. Just the mere sight of you is making my blood pressure go to a dangerous place, okay? You're not good for my health, Goose. You're just not. Look at Diana. She's just really not going to go past Lily. 
It's fine. She's looking for bugs. She's a bad bitch and she's looking for bugs. Meanwhile, Goose is literally staring at a tree like a fucking idiot. Yeah. Hope you're happy with yourself, Goose. I really do. Anyway, I think that's about all we're going to squeeze out of these peons today. Not you. Not you, never you. Where's Lily? Yeah, see, Lily gave up too, didn't she? Lily gave up. She went home. Yeah, she knows. She went home. She gave up. She's Because she, you know what? She said, it'll be weird if I'm still here. I got to go home. And she's playing the long game. And you know what? She's really killing it. She is playing the long game. And she's playing it perfectly. She is. She's playing the long game like it's a fucking fiddle. And I'm so proud of her. Did she go home? She went home. Where did she go? Actually, now I have to find Lily and just make sure she's like, okay. Maybe she came out here. Maybe she was just like, you know what? I'm sick of waiting for Diana. I don't see her anywhere. Yet again, she's minuscule. So <laughs> she's easy to miss. But she's got her big bow on that adds like a whole foot to her height. Where is Lily? Where is Lily? Lily, where did you go? Where is Lily? But anyway, yeah, that's like my new island. Isn't it amazing? It's like so different now, right? Where is everybody? I just feel like everybody's missing. Like, where's Kyle? Where's Lily? Where is everybody? Where are they? Did they go into the shops or something? Where are they? <laughs> they must have gone into the shops or something, right? Sorry. Where is Lily? Where is Lily? Zell is fully asleep on a bench in public. It's fine. <laughs> oh, Zell. Oh, Zell. Where's Lily? Oh, there she is. Hi, Lily. I was just making sure that you're safe. She knows what she's doing. She knows exactly what she's doing. Look at her. And who am I to stand in your way? You go on, Lily. You go on and you get the girl. We'll get her. We'll get her. We'll be back soon. Anyway, um, before I wrap it up, because I'm going to do that, I'm going to wrap it up because <laughs> that's all I really have for you today. It's just a tour of the island. I want to let you know that now that I have a new computer, I can stream. I think. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure I should be able to stream now. So we're going to do that. I'm going to finally start my new island. I think I'm going to, I don't really know actually. I think I'm going to, maybe I'll start on YouTube. Should I stream on YouTube or Twitch or both? Let me know because I really have no idea what I'm doing. And I hardly have ever been to Twitch in my life. But it seems fun over there, right? It seems like everybody's having fun over there. I kind of have FOMO about Twitch. So maybe I should try it, but I don't know. So yeah, I'm going to start streaming soon, hopefully next week. Still have a lot to catch up on. Like I have to do the whole Story of Seasons video again, which sucks, but that'll come because I love I mean, Story of Seasons is going nowhere. Same with uh, Stardew. Still have so much to do in Stardew. I'm going to do a video showing you all the amazing things. And when I say amazing, y'all are going to freak out at what some of these people got me. Okay, so a bunch of people sent me like the nicest shit I've ever got in my life to my P.O. box. And I unboxed it on camera and then they stole my hard drive. So I don't have that anymore, but I'm going to still show you what they gave me because it's fucking amazing and I can't believe it. So there's that. I have a whole bunch of videos that are planned coming soon and I'm back. Yeah. So I will see you in the next one. Hopefully it won't be long and hopefully you'll start to see me streaming and I will be able to hang out more often than ever before, which I am really excited about because this is my favorite thing and you are my favorite thing and I love you so much and I will yet again, I'm, I said this already and I'm going to say it again because I'm awkward. I will see you in the next one. Bye.